Welcome to Tesla Vision. Let's talk about the most recent Tesla news and updates on a massive expansion of the Tesla supercharger network. Tesla China has started installing the Made in China V3 superchargers, according to a statement made by the company's charging team on Tesla China's official Weibo account. Initially, California-based electric car maker built the V2 superchargers in its main Fremont plant in California. The company later shifted to V3 supercharger production at Gigafactory New York, where production of Tesla solar roof tiles is also taking place. The V3 supercharger can deliver up to 250 kilowatts of power, compared to the 120 kilowatts of the V2 model. In order to spur sales of Tesla EVs in China, in February 2021, the company began the production of V3 superchargers at its factory in Shanghai, built next to its Gigafactory 3 in the Linglang 3 trade zone. While launching the supercharger factory, Tesla China noted that the plant had the capacity to churn out more than 10,000 charging stations a year. Now we learn that Tesla Giga Shanghai produced all the V3 superchargers in the new station. According to Tesla's official Weibo blog, the V3 supercharger stations went online during the just-concluded May the 20th day in China. The 20th of May is a special date on the Chinese calendar, because the date is pronounced in the same way as the phrase I love you in Mandarin. In simple words, the 20th of May, the 20th day of the 5th month, is like the Chinese Valentine's Day. The automaker chose this special day to celebrate the commissioning of a V3 supercharger station in Shenzhen. The supercharger station is located at 5022 Binhe Avenue, Fuxian District, Shenzhen, in the Guangdong Province. Tesla China is reported to have invited EV owners to visit the new charging station. Based on some photos shared by the Tesla China charging team, there was an event to celebrate the installation of the first Made in China V3 superchargers on the 20th of May. It also appears that some visitors got some special gifts at the event, along with some delectable sweets. The electric car maker has been working hard by installing supercharger stalls and deploying stations throughout China. Recently, the company brought its supercharger V3 stations to the base camp of Mount Everest. China has become Tesla's largest market for its electric vehicles. Tesla Bull and Wedbush Securities Analyst predicted Tesla stocks would hit $1,000 per share if its demand in China does not stumble. During a recent interview with CNBC, Mr. Ives restated his $1,000 Tesla share price target, estimating his production to come true in less than a year. Tesla's production capacity at its Gigafactory Shanghai has been growing exponentially faster than anticipated, and demand has been surging despite the pandemic and smear bad media coverage in the country. With its rapidly expanding fleet in China, the automaker has been focused on adding more service infrastructure elements and charging stations as fast as it can. The company has made great strides in extending its supercharger territory across the Chinese mainland. Currently, it operates over 6,000 superchargers in the country. Tesla has deployed these next-gen fast chargers at more than 760 locations or cities like Zhengzhou, Changqing, Shenzhen, Beijing, Qingdao, Xi'an, and many, many more. There are also supercharger stations in three eastern provinces in China. Tesla China started this year on top gear by announcing the Made in China Model Y, which has so far met high sales expectations. As more Tesla EVs hit the roads in China, the local supercharger network will arguably become more valuable to Tesla owners. The company is committed to offering its customers the best after-purchase services. According to Tesla China's supercharger team, the growing local supercharger network is part of the company's plans to ease the minds of its customers. Worldwide, the automaker claims to run 25,000 supercharger stores at more than 2,700 supercharger stations. Since the automaker is considering opening more facilities in Russia, the UK and other regions, it would not be surprising if the company installed over 40,000 superchargers by 2030. In a separate story, Tesla boss Elon Musk recently confirmed that Tesla is updating the next-generation Tesla Roadster design and that the car would be capable of sprinting from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a mind-boggling 1.1 seconds with a SpaceX package of cold air thrusters. Elon Musk announced this insane piece of information on Twitter 
following Tesla Roadster exhibition at the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles. The new Roadster prototype was brought to the museum for the public to view and is expected to be on display until the 2nd of June 2021. However, this is not the first time Tesla has brought its AVs to the Peterson Automotive Museum. Back in 2020, visitors could catch a glimpse of the Tesla Cybertruck and other electric cars like the Tesla Model S prototypes and first-generation Tesla Roadster. One interesting feature that avid Tesla enthusiasts noted about the all-electric supercar is the next-gen Roadster's SpaceX package. As per the vehicle's information panel, the cold air rocket thrusters fitted in the rear of the vehicle would enable it to accelerate from standstill zero to 60 miles per hour in just 1.1 seconds. When the second-generation Tesla Roadster was unveiled back in 2017, Mr. Musk revealed that the vehicle would be arriving with impressive specs, such as 0 to 60 miles per hour, 96.5 kilometers per hour acceleration in just 1.9 seconds, 620 miles, 998 kilometers of driving range, and so on and so forth. However, the CEO quickly announced that the aforementioned specs are only the base performance. He later mentioned that Tesla had been planning to offer a SpaceX package with cold gas thrusters installed in the supercar to improve its performance. At first, Musk's comments sounded like a joke, but he made clear that the company was planning to incorporate the feature into the production vehicles. In a recent tweet about the thrusters, Mr. Musk mentioned that they would be hidden behind the license plate, like a gadget on a James Bond vehicle. Interestingly enough, Jason Fenske, the host of YouTube's Engineering Explained, dropped hints about the Tesla Roadster generating up to 2.5 Gs of force when accelerated from a standstill. Mr. Musk also mentioned the same information when he appeared at the Ride the Lightning podcast. The CEO of Tesla noted that the Roadster SpaceX package would generate nearly 3 Gs of thrust, almost the force of a space shuttle. Mr. Musk said that the vehicle would still be safe at such speeds and thrust. However, its acceleration would be extreme, comparable to a hardcore roller coaster. Quote, yes, with the SpaceX rocket thruster option package, it will be safe, but very intense. Probably not wise for those with a medical condition, same as a hardcore roller coaster. End quote. Musk said in a tweet on the 20th of May 2021. Mr. Musk's piece of advice to Tesla customers makes sense, considering that the vehicle would generate G-forces akin to a rocket launch when it sprints at full power. The confirmation of the car's acceleration specs has caused a thrill among the electric vehicle community. The new Roadster's figures were already jaw-dropping after all, with the base version of the Roadster being capable of achieving highway speeds in less than two seconds. However, with the introduction of the SpaceX package that brings the acceleration down to 1.1 seconds, it effectively qualifies to enter a territory occupied by part rocket cars such as NHRA Top Fuel Dragsters and the Bloodhound SSC. Besides confirming the Tesla Roadster's SpaceX package performance, Musk reiterated that the upcoming all-electric Halo car would be a bit different from the original prototype. CO did not provide any further details about what the Roadster's final design would look like. He did note that it would look better. Considering the aerodynamically styled body the American supercar already has, one can only wonder how stunning the eagerly awaited Tesla Roadster would be. Production of the second-generation Tesla Roadster is expected to kick off in 2022, though we might see a release candidate design hitting the road this year. Finishing engineering design this year, production starts next year, aiming to have a release candidate design drivable late summer, Mr. Musk said. Apart from rocket thrusters, the car will feature Tesla's incarnation of its autopilot, FSD beta software, and over-the-air software updates. It will also have a suite of cameras and sensors, offering 360-degree visibility and detecting obstacles while the car is cruising. Despite its supercar status, the next-generation Tesla Roadster's interior will feature four adjustable seats, a large touchscreen, a removable glass roof, among many other perks. The base variant will have a starting price of approximately $200,000. The car will attract a $50,000 reservation fee. The automaker also intends to produce at least 1,000 units of the Founder Series model, and this one will have a price tag of $250,000. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.